So, Young Justice Phantoms. Great. I, honestly, bro, like, I'm going to be real with you. I, I'm just not here for it anymore. You know, I tried my best. I tried to skirt around it, but honestly, Young Justice Phantoms, it just isn't good. It just isn't good. Like, when I think about it, it's just not good. They cut corners in animation time and time again throughout every single subsequent release of these episodes. Every single time, they cut corners. The weird decisions they make, the weird agenda they're pushing inside of these shows, TV shows, throughout multiple companies, throughout multiple studios, is getting exhausting at this point. There has to be some form of social justice in these shows, and it's taking me out of all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't care about any of this. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't watch these shows to be reminded of real life. I don't watch these shows to be preached to. I just don't. And I should not be ashamed of saying that. I should not be, you know, counted as a bigot for saying this. I don't care about these type of issues in these superhero shows or in these type of media. And the media keeps pushing this in my face. And, and I know I'm not the only person tired of this. I know I'm not. So I don't want to hear anything about me being a bigot or me being a hateful person. I don't care. I genuinely don't give a damn anymore. I'm sick of this goddamn agenda being pushed into these TV shows that don't need it. That's the whole thing. It's not even necessary. It, it, it has nothing to the plot just to virtue signal. I don't care. I'm sick of race swaps, gender swaps, gender bent versions, politics, you know, trans ideology, LGBTQ. I'm sick of it being pushed in the media that I don't watch this shit for. And I don't care if I get called a hateful person for it. It is unnecessary, dog. So yeah, and you know what I mean when I say that. The violent subplot, utterly unnecessary, and I do not care. Other subplots that are unnecessary, I just do not care for. The Forager stuff. And please, for the love of God, explain to me why is Forager so goddamn relevant. I do not care about Forager. Any of the Foragers. I do not care. And I, I'm not going to lie to you, I like the Razor stuff. I really do enjoy the Razor stuff. But again, it feels a little manipulative on the side of the writers because it feels like they're only, only doing that to keep eyes on the show. And honestly, I feel played. I enjoy seeing him. I enjoy hearing his voice. I enjoy seeing him do stuff again. And, but we're, well, let's be honest here. They're never paying that off. Let's keep that a band. They're never going to pay Razor's story arc off. It's been years. And same with Wally. Like, seriously, he's been dead since season two. We're on season, like, what, four? Uh, yeah, four. And, and it's so exhausting i'm not gonna lie what is the point of dragging out this we know he's alive we know you're gonna bring him back so why are you taking so long just do what needs to be done and let it be done why are you wasting my time as a viewer like seriously like who knows if we're ever gonna you know, i don't even care you know what in the show the show doesn't need to come back it's a waste of time it's a waste of resources because you're not even putting in a lot of resources to make this show at least look good you know, if you're going to have this shitty writing, if you're going to plant in all of your goddamn agendas, the least you could do is make this show pretty to look at. And that you failed at too. Like you failed at a writing perspective. You failed in the animations perspective and you, you just keep failing. Like seriously, the small glimmers of good stuff, it doesn't outweigh the bad. And the bad is literally glaring throughout this season and last season. The cut corners and everything else in between, it just wasn't good. I don't understand why people still make excuses for this show. I'm over the excuses. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest. It's a waste of time. The show was a gigantic waste of my time, and honestly, it should have stayed dead if this is what we're going to get throughout all of this. So think that think twice about next time you want a revival series or when you want your show to be brought back because they're going to plant their agendas. They're going to plant their st stupid, weird version of morality into this show. And this goes for all of these movies, studios, companies, Disney marvel whatever you want to call them dc all of them i'm just so tired of being preached to over and over and over again it is an unmitigated waste of time that no one asks for no one asks for this type of writing no one asks for any of this and i just genuinely don't care about your goddamn politics because it's always one way there's no nuance you can have politics you can have these type of messaging but there's no nuance it's not it's no subtlety it's just shoved in your face and there's only one side one side that's it and i'm so tired of that i'm so tired of the biases when it comes to these type of political messaging like seriously and again there's no nuance i just don't 
care anymore, dude. And I should not have to be shamed for saying what I'm saying right now. It sucks. This show was a complete disappointment as a Young Justice fan, as a longtime Young Justice fan. I have been a fan of Young Justice literally since this began. I've been a fan of Connor Kent's arc for the longest. And I'm going to be real with you. The Connor Kent arc was whatever. And again, I just find it funny how in the comics, Connor, of course, he started out like he is now, but they dragged his arc and they won't even give him any new powers. Like, I'm sick of having Connor power down like this. Like, he's just a watered down version of a watered down version. Like, it's ridiculous. Connor in the comics would conquer this dude. Like, seriously. I don't know, man. It just, it just feels weird. It just feels weird. Like I said, the, the small little bright spots, it won't make up for this giant turd of a goddamn season and of a goddamn revived series. It was terrible. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of my goddamn energy to watch this show. So many choices they made with the writing. So many choices in what they did with these characters. I just do not understand. The foragers make very little sense to the plot and I do not understand why they consistently put them in my face. I do not care. And they kept tugging on our heartstrings by pulling in all these other properties which realistically make no sense to the canon of the universe. And I'm just really sick of this. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. They they do these things just to reel us in. They show us what we want to see, but in the end product, is nothing what we wanted. And the way they decided to distribute these episodes was even more annoying. Like, it's almost like you couldn't tell what episode was coming out when, and it's just... Just drop it all Netflix style and just end all the waiting, especially with these drawn out arcs. I just wasn't impressed with this season or nor last season, if I'm going to be real with you. And honestly, if these are going to be the type of results that we're going to get from these revived series, I don't want to see any of my favorite shows ever get revived because I know it's going to be preachy, watered down garbage that has no heart and no passion behind the project. I know it. So, yeah, if I'm going to be real with you, this show is terrible now and if i'm being honest it does not need to get renewed by all means cut your losses don't waste your time if you want to watch this show watch the first two seasons and then cut it off there nothing else is worth it i promise you just don't so yeah man at the end of the day hope you enjoyed this video like comment share, subscribe do all the good stuff i hate to be a downer but you know it is what it is peace